How's it going everybody? Dr. Doi here with a very exciting Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today because it is what the title says, Janemba has been officially released. Uh, released is in quotes though, just like last time with Goku GT, because the only way you're capable of playing this character right now is by either owning the Nintendo Switch version of the game along with the Fighters Pass on there, uh, then you should be able to play Janemba no problem, or if you don't want to go through all that trouble, you can go into the arcade mode, play as Captain Ginyu, and body switch in order to get Janemba. That's the way I did it in order to capture on my PS4, it actually took a pretty long time for me to get him, uh, but here he is, we got his full move set as well as how the moves look and just my overall thoughts on playing Janemba, and again I do want to put in this sort of disclaimer that this character is very tricky with his moves uh, relies a lot on stuff like that so this character could either get better or worse depending on what your what player you're playing against their skill level and of course their knowledge of Janemba as well but as of right now my opinions are pretty positive and it seems like a lot of uh, other players uh, maybe aren't liking him as much it's still super early of course I just thought I'd let you know right away so a couple things we should mention up front about Janemba he is a little taller than Goku which means he can be fuzzied uh, that right away really really sucky for him as it means there will be some defensive situations where you just kind of got to make that hard read if you don't want to get hit, uh, which really sucks. Other than that, we should also address the fact that his 2L does not hit low. For a split second when I was playing him, I actually had some hope they released two low hitting 2Ls back to back, but unfortunately, nah, it's just a jab that attacks their feet, uh, but doesn't hit low. I don't know why Janemba got the shaft in that area, but it's super unfortunate. And the last major thing that I wanted to cover is Janemba's assist. It is a tracking two key blast thing uh, that a lot of people seem to have problems with uh, in terms of how bad it is. Uh, and it is pretty bad. Uh, luckily, it does track so I guess that's sort of good but there are some areas where it's just going to miss flat out you can super dash through it run through it jump through it. it's super easy to avoid and because of those reasons people are calling it almost like a Krillin assist uh, as somebody that plays Krillin that is a that's a huge burn because Krillin's assist is pretty awful <laughs> with that said though I'm kind of hopeful that maybe there will be a situation found where that assist is like really good in one particular situation you would never want it over anything else but there is at least a situation where it should be decent moving on from that how does Janemba in general feel to play uh, and in my opinion, pretty good. Everything feels really natural with this character. He doesn't have a standard down heavy in the air. But if you play Dragon Ball Fighters for a little while, you will have no problem jumping in with this character, even though he does do some pretty unusual stuff. His auto combo is also really, really good. I love the second hit. Really does remind me a lot of Bardock. That sweeping tail that hits him down. You already know that's going to catch a ton of players at weird angles. Uh, it's going to be Bardock Syndrome. Like, oh, that really shouldn't have hit me. That guy was mashing, pulled me back into the corner, even though I was on the other side. All of that stuff is definitely going to happen with Janemba. That second hit is wild. Other than that, we can go ahead and jump into his special moves, starting with the Demonic Blade, which is cheap. This move is super cheap. This is the range version of a Bardock Lariat. This, it's fast. It's a normal slash. You can do it in the air or on the ground. The heavy version in particular is like half the screen and almost instant, and you can combo off of it. Uh, dude, it's cheap. This online is going to be <laughs> near unblockable, especially with some of the other stuff Janemba has. I, I love this move so far, uh, and I definitely can't wait to continue testing it. Mystical Arm is another move that I really like. It is a command grab, but uh, from a medium distance, it's not like the Piccolo Arm we saw. It does extend out after you make the initial hit, though. So this move you can also combo off of if you uh, EX it. I think maybe you could combo off of it in other ways, uh, but I'm not too sure yet. All I know is it is a command grab, and it is pretty good. Uh, it seems a little slowish, uh, but again, at least online, you should have no problem landing this thing or at least making them afraid of the tool. Shadow Kick is another really cheap move where if as long as you're in the air and click down triangle, you are hitting them with an overhead attack. This is also how you're going to be getting a majority of your sliding knockdowns off of your solo B and B combos with Janemba when you're not at the edge of the screen. Uh, so this is something you'll have to remember if you're going to be playing Janemba day one online. Hell Gate is another really interesting move and one that I can't really talk about too much because this is clearly a very setup oriented move. Uh, you want to get a knockdown and then go for Hell Gate pressure Try to mix him up. The question is with what though? Janemba doesn't have too many good tools for that. Uh, but you know, he does have that command grab, I guess. Or 2M, you know, something like that. You're just gonna have to think on the fly. Uh, that move is definitely gonna need a lot more testing. So if you're playing Janemba and you're a lab monster, please look into that for me and get back to me because I am way too sick to be dealing with that. Other than that, we also have Dimensional Hole, Janemba's Key Blast Counter. I haven't tested it too much, but I assume it's kind of just a throwaway move. Not the best in the world. You can also do it in the air, though. So, you know, for those particular Vegeta players that are jumping and throwing Key Blast, I guess you got that to kind of cover that option. Phantom Shift is Janemba's uh, General Teleport. I haven't seen too many uses for it other than dodging some Super Dashes, uh, maybe getting on the other side of the opponent if that's something you want to do. But overall, not too important in a game like Dragon Ball Fighters with a cross-up protection, uh, but it is a tool, and I will be looking forward to seeing 
if and when players use that. After that, we go into Janemba's supers, and he has a few of them, and one is really interesting. The interesting one is not uh, Rakash's Claw. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, but it's not this one. This one is a pretty standard one. This is what you get after Janemba's DHC. Uh, he just comes in with a sword, slices him up. It's a decent bit of corner carry, but not as much as his other move, uh, and basically just does the stuff we saw in the trailer. The really cool special move is the Savage Skewer, the one where he grabs the rock and transforms it. Anywhere from screen, that is putting the opponent in the corner. That's a mechanic I thought they were going to save for Dragon Ball Super Broly, but they used it here, uh, which is interesting. I don't know. I really love this tool. You're in, you're on, you got your back to the corner uh, and you hit him with something. You just need that corner carry. Boom, Savage Skewer, you're there. Maybe you go into a level three, get instant corner level three. Okay, that is crazy. I love that level one super. It makes him super good on point, uh, which I think is where Janemba will inevitably be played. Again, you got to watch out for those fuzzies though. Not a great time. Other than that, you got his standard level three. Saw this in the trailer as well. You can do it in the air, which is nice, but overall, just a pretty basic level three. And that about wraps that up. So yeah, guys, like I said, that's Janemba. That's all I could get with my limited time in the arcade mode. Uh, once again, I do want to mention the community is still split. So if I made this sound a little too positive, I, I would seek out other character overviews. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed Janemba. I really hope he's everything you wanted because we did wait a while for him. And if he's not, I I'm sorry, dude, that kind of sucks. But so far, I'm enjoying him. And I don't even, I didn't even know I was going to enjoy him that much. Other than that, let me know your thoughts on Janemba down below. Let me know which side of the argument you fall on, or maybe you haven't even tried him out yet and you're going to now. While you're down there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're excited for the week of Janemba Ranked. I know I am now that I've gotten more time on with him. And if you want to watch even more videos to get prepared for that, you can go up top on your screen and click any of the four videos. Other than that, I have been Dr. Doya. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.